Our promise today is in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 and it's from verse 11. And it reads, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith Jehovah, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you hope in your latter end. Then I'll read another version. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You know, what is the word of a man worth? The extent to which you believe the word of a person is based on the record of integrity that the person has with you. Because in times past, you have seen the person keep their word over and over again. And when many people, when they break their promises to you, whenever it is that they make you a promise, you take it with what? A pinch of salt. Why? Because they're not worth the word that they have just spoken. Because over time, they haven't earned your trust. But, the Bible tells us that let every man be what? A liar. And let who alone be true? Let God alone be true. What does that say to us? That every word of God is more assured and more secure than your cash that is in the bank. Than the vault of the U.S. Treasury where the gold is stored. Why? Because let every man be a liar and let God alone be true. The earth and everything, it can pass away. But not a single word of Jehovah will pass without being fulfilled. Now, having laid that foundation, that God, whose word is true, whose word can be trusted, whose word is assured, is the one who has given you a word this morning. And in his word, he has said to you, for I know the plans that I have for you. Before you were born, God had a plan. For the entirety of the time you have been allocated, God already has a master plan. And he's saying to you that that plan, which you might not fully understand, and you don't need to. Why? The plans of God for our life are revealed in seasons. They're revealed in stages. What we know is for a time and a moment, which is why we can never allow temporary situations to control a long-term situation. We must learn to understand that the master of the universe is in total control of the whole picture. And that whilst a stage might not be pleasant, whilst a stage might be challenging, the word of God will forever be true and Jehovah will keep his word. And that is what he's saying to you this morning. That you can go home with this promise and know that no matter what you face, no matter what you see, no matter what is staring you in the face, just know that my plans for you declares the Lord. Not declares the book of Declares the Lord. My plans to you are for you to prosper. And for you not to come to any harm. And plans to give you a hope and a future. Me, which means in the most hopeless situation, you have a right to be hopeful. Because it's part of God's plan. In a situation that looks bleak, God says there's a future. Because God knows that future. And because he does, what he's asking you for this morning is your trust. Just trust me at my word. Take me at my word. When your child looks at you from the top of the stairs and you say, Daddy, can I jump? And you say, jump. An innocent believing child is confident that when he jumps from up there, his almighty father is able to catch him. When he jumps that he's not going to break his leg and therefore he jumps how much more that's your father that can drop and miss a step just before the child lands how much more jehovah that the earth and the fullness thereof they belong to him the one that controls the universe the one who can create everything that has not been created the one who will command what does not exist and it will come into being at his word the whole earth moves the entire universe is totally under his control he knows the next moment of your life and he knows every moment to the end of your days. So please, shall we rise 
and just lift up our hands to God and say, Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for your promise. I thank you because I know that your thoughts towards me, your plans for me, they are plans of good and not of evil to bring me to an expected end, an end in which you, Jehovah, you alone will be glorified, an end in which everything will work together for my good. Because no matter what I see, no matter what I'm facing, you have a plan and your plan gives me hope and it gives me a future. And your thoughts towards me, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. Therefore, even the things that look evil right now, they will turn out for my good because that's how you have designed it and you can be trusted. I take you at your word and I celebrate you. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We will always have a reason to praise the Lord. So Hallelujah, no confinement to my mouth. Hallelujah, no confinement to my mouth. Hallelujah, no confinement to my mouth. Hallelujah, no confinement to my mouth.